Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode, we'll take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering it from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bullenbach, and today I'll be taking you to the solar system's most stunning ringed planet, Saturn. Saturn is best known for its distinct ring system. These rings have fascinated stargazers for centuries. Although through binoculars or a small telescope, Saturn appears surrounded by a single solid ring, it actually has seven large separate rings that are separated by dark divisions. Other fainter rings have been discovered as telescope technology has improved. The rings are about 170,000 miles across and are actually made up of billions of particles, ranging from the size of a grain of sand to the size of a building that is a couple stories high. Some are even as tall as mountains. Composed predominantly of water ice, the rings also draw in rocky meteoroids as they travel through space. They would look mostly white if you looked at them from the cloud tops of Saturn. And interestingly, each ring orbits at a different speed around the planet. The ice particles fall into a ring shape because each one follows a similar orbital path. The rings themselves contain a number of gaps and structures. Some are created by Saturn's many small moons, while others continue to puzzle astronomers. When Galileo Galilei first observed Saturn in 1610, he thought that the rings were enormous moons, one positioned on each side of the planet. Over several years, he noted that the rings changed shape and even disappeared. We know now that Galileo was observing a ring plane crossing, which occurs because Saturn's equator and its rings are tilted relative to its orbit. As it circles the sun, the orientation of the equator and rings appears to change, which causes us to sometimes see the rings edge on. This makes it look like they disappear. In 2004, NASA and the European Space Agency's Cassini-Huygens mission became the first to enter orbit around Saturn, taking detailed observations not only of the planet, but also of its ring system. Cassini directly measured the mass of the rings via their gravitational effects as the spacecraft passed between the rings of the planet and the planet's cloud tops. It found that the rings are about half as massive as Earth's Antarctic ice shelf, with the mass spread across a surface area that is 80 times larger than Earth. Saturn is not the only planet in the solar system with rings. Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune also contain faint ring systems. Astronomers have two main theories that explain the origin of Saturn's rings. One theory is that the rings were once a moon of Saturn whose orbit decayed until it came close enough to be ripped apart by tidal forces. Alternatively, this moon may have disintegrated after being struck by a large comet or asteroid. The other theory is that the rings were never a solid body, but are instead left over from the original material in the solar nebula where Saturn formed. Estimates of the age of Saturn rings vary from very young to as old as the formation of Saturn itself, which was 4.5 billion years ago. However, data from Cassini suggests that they are much younger and most likely formed within the last 100 million years. Because the rings are continually losing material, they were likely more massive in the past. Based on current depletion rates, astronomers think that they could disappear within 300 million years. Arguably, Saturn rings are one of the most fantastic structures you can see in the solar system, and we are extremely lucky to be around to see them even in the middle of their lifetime. We might always know Saturn to have rings, considering humanity's perspective of time in contrast to the long timeline events play out in space. If rings are temporary, however, we might have just missed seeing giant ring systems around Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune compared to their very thin ringlets today. One thing is for sure, and that is we must continue marching onwards because the universe sure isn't gonna slow down for us to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.